an indication of his lack of faith in that, that vessel. And when we got down there, uh, he didn't do any of the driving in my recollection. He immediately, I believe I was the first one to drive, but he basically in, insisted, it was his idea, nobody asked to drive, had each of us drive. And I think that was his kind of sick way of, if we had imploded, we were a little bit in control of our own destiny because when we were driving, we were needing to go towards deeper water to, I mean, the idea was really we were trying to get to the exact depth of the Titanic to confirm the hull was safe for that depth. And, you know, he knew at that point what the cross section of the hull looked like. He knew that it had been hit by lightning. He knew that his engineer had quit, that would refuse to go in it, that the Lockridge was refusing. Uh, you know, I didn't know any of these things. Are you basing that on testimony?